Hi everyone, it's me, Linda B, and welcome back to my channel. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and always watch the video all the way to the very end. Now let's get going. Okay, again, this Fonnie Willis saga. Okay, we got to keep reporting on this. Things keep happening, and this is one of those hot cases. So, she went to another church. You already heard about the church that she went to prior. And she stood up in the pulpit and blamed everything that was happening to her on racism. It's the old race card that we like to pull out every now and then, some of us do. And so, now she goes to yet another church. And here is what she said. Good morning. Good morning. Um, for me, it has been, well, let's just tell the truth, a, a rough three years. Um, but Berean is someplace that is home for me. Um, I probably owe y'all an apology. I have two daughters, but I sent my most challenging one here. Um, and she is the one that kind of made sure that I had some wisdom and was strong and every gray hair in my head was attributed to me by her. Um, but I sent her here, and this is a, a true story. I was looking for a school for this child that is challenging. And I kept going to places and not feeling love for people that could come and love a child who was gonna work your nerves every day. And the instant I walked into Berean, I knew I had found the right place for my child. And I am really happy to say today she is a high school graduate. Thank God to y'all. So when I was invited here, it was really heartwarming because to me this is family because family helps you when you're up and when you're down. And you all helped me when I was down having hard days and just the love that we received here. It was just consistent and always. Um, there are things going on recently that I won't talk about, but everybody did not embrace me during those times, and Berean has continued to embrace me. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm also grateful, Pastor, because as I watched your choir, you have a young man, and he is really grooving in here. And he is giving me all of the positive energy that Berean has had. Let me tell you something that I've learned very, very recently, because you may need this lesson as well. You know, people keep sending me scriptures, and I, and I appreciate those scriptures, but different people from all different walks of life keep sending me this one scripture, and I don't think I ever really heard it till to maybe two days ago. You, people send you stuff, you read them, they just kind of become things you recite, but you don't really think about what they say. The scripture they keep sending me is, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I need y'all to hear me though. They did not say the weapon, weapons will not form. And that's the part I didn't hear until recently. Just because they won't prosper, it doesn't mean that they won't form. Even if you feel like everything you are doing in your life is the right thing, and you're making mistakes all along the way, but you're trying, you should not think that those weapons will not form. The other lesson that I've learned in this three years is God ordains those weapons. He puts those weapons in your life to form against you. And if you really understand him, you become in your maturity to understand he does it for a reason and it's to grow you and it's to make you stronger and it is to prepare you. And so my only request from this family today is this is a really hard job I'm trying to do and I am an imperfect human being but I can literally feel... You know, I just got to say this, you know, I just wonder what these people are thinking that they would allow. And I'm not saying the people in the churches are bad. I'm not saying that at all. So no one, please don't misunderstand me. But I want people to not be so quick. <laughs> 
pray prayerfully that they're not so quick to let a person speak in their pulpit because it has become painfully clear that Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade have been lying the entire time. Okay. And to let someone bring that kind of filth in to me in a church, it just shows, uh, I hate to put people down, but I just wonder, you know, if you can lie in church, then you can clearly put your hand on the Bible and say, you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but truth. I mean, you can do pretty much anything because there seems to be a lack of moral compass. I mean, I know people get scared and they, you know, they try to spare themselves embarrassment. And once they start lying, they got to tell another lie and another lie and another lie. But come on. What I mean, what really happened was that simply power hungry, greedy and wanted to make a name for herself. And she wanted to bring in a special prosecutor who she paid way more than everybody else. And that's the bottom line. And the relationship, there is more than enough to say that there is the appearance of impropriety. Okay. And using a church. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So using a church platform, I guess it just, I don't know. I, I think people, okay. Politicians love, love to go to churches and say what they want to say. And, and we're very welcoming. We're very welcoming. But at some point, I pray that we get to the point where we don't feel like we have to have people coming to these churches, you know, and the church people are kind people. They love God. It's just that I just wish they would say, you know, we just don't think that this is right at this time. You know, not judging anybody. And I hope y'all don't hurt me in the comments. <laughs> but I, I just, that's just how I feel. You know, certain things should not be brought up in the pulpit. And I don't know if they've been watching the case. They have the hearing rather. They had to have been watching it. Everybody knows about this. This is a national, this particular hearing, this case has national attention. You know, Donald Trump is like, where did she get all the money from? You know, um, you know, there was just all sorts of cash involved so that it couldn't be traced. You know, all this dirt. And, you know, I just don't want black people or people of color to always say they're doing this to me because I am black. Let's leave color out of it. And just focus on if any laws were broken. Okay, let's just focus on right and wrong. Let's not focus on because I'm a woman, because I'm black or any of that. Fonnie Willis stepped into that courtroom disrespectful. She was interrupting people. She called the attorney Ashley Merchant. You, you lied. She basically called her a liar to her face. She slammed papers down. She, her lip was quivering. She was mad and she was, she couldn't wait to tell anybody off. What she should have done was not have appeared. She should not have taken the stand. That's what she should have done. She should have listened to legal counsel in that instance because she shot herself in the foot. And I heard an admission that she took money from her campaign fund. She said it kind of quickly and mumbled a little bit, but that is what I heard. You all tell me what you heard. So this is, as I've said in other videos, definitely headed for her being disqualified. And what other DA would take this up at this point? This is stands a great chance. And I know people have said they're not going to dismiss it. They'll just assign it to another DA. But what DA will want to take it up is my question. And a lot of people's questions. Who wants to deal with this? So this is headed, I believe, for dismissal. Okay. And she could be headed to be prison, disbarment. I mean, a lot could be happening. You've got a ton of witnesses who have shown themselves to be not credible. And I know in a prior, you know, video that I spoke of um, John Floyd, Fonnie Willis's father, I said he seemed credible. And you guys were like, he does not seem credible. 
Okay, I went back and looked at it again and you could tell, okay, this is what bothered me about his particular testimony is when he pointed to his face and said, because of the color of my skin, he kept, I was like, oh Lord, we just, that is just needs to be thrown out the window. Doing things that way, and that's the liberal democratic way of doing things is, is making everything about race, everything about color. You know, we should just focus on right and wrong. Yeah, we have racism, but when you have been caught with your hand in the cookie jar and you have eaten all the cookies and you got the crumbs around your mouth, you're guilty and it has nothing to do with the color of your skin. The fact is you ate all the cookies in the cookie jar. That's what I mean. The evidence is there. So that is just, I, so you guys let me know what you think. <laughs> All these church visits, old politicians, you know, people love to go into churches and kiss babies and, and take advantage of the, you know, the nice, sweet church people. Ooh, they just don't let me come and stand in their pulpit. Uh, give me a break. Anyway, that's all I have for today. You guys be blessed. Hope you're having a great day. You know, please like and comment, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching the video to this point. Have a blessed day, and as I always say, march on, warriors.